Hey everybody, Shelka04 here. Say, uh, got a second installment on the uh, uh, bunker berm house that my buddy's building out of shipping containers. Uh, it's, uh, I guess, uh, continuing to be another adventure, so uh, thus the necessity to have a second video. So let's go in here and see what the hell's going on. So, uh, this spot here where the two containers are joined together, well, they're not really joined together. He didn't weld it. Uh, I guess he got bored and just decided to start putting flooring down. Now, what I would do if it were me is I would get some big plastic tarps or some of that uh, like eight mil plastic sheathing and I would have at least put that down as a vapor barrier before putting the subflooring on. But without any of that, you're gonna always have moisture up underneath the, uh, the subfloor there. Well, the other thing is because he didn't really seal the floor, he didn't really do a, uh, a thorough job of sealing the, uh, the roof. And as you can see, since we've had rain out here in the desert, which is rare, but still happens, we've got water in here. So uh, he's decided to let the thing dry for a couple of weeks and focus more up on the roof. So let's go up top and uh, see how that's working out. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, so here we are up on the roof. Now, what happened about two or three weeks ago was he welded this, uh, what is that, about three inch by quarter strapping onto the seam. But he didn't weld the entire length, he just tack welded it. And then came back with uh, latex caulk and tried to seal it. But did so when it was uh, wet out. So the caulk never really set, it just sort of uh, eroded. And so that's not really a watertight uh, seam. Then the plan is, I guess, to, uh, to glop uh, buckets of tar all over the top of this. Now, the cross members on the roof are old mobile home frames that he cut and uh, ran across and is now, as you can see here and here, he's tack welded it to the, uh, to the top of the containers. And that has added some st stability to it before it was uh, like a trampoline up here. A lot more stability here, I guess. Not completely though. You see, the thing is, the plan is eventually to put four feet of dirt up here where I'm standing. And uh, I just don't get it. I don't see how uh, it's gonna be watertight. You know, again, we're out in the desert, so you don't have to worry that much about it, but you gotta worry some. As we saw down below, you know, the water will find a way in here. So, uh, there you have it. That's part two of the installment. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Otherwise, please subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Shelka04 out. Bye.